Jesus Christ is Lord. This is Charity Ewesen on the Hour of Liberty. And we all say that Jesus Christ is Lord. We should not make anyone else Lord than our Lord Jesus Christ. People aiming to rule over their fellow human beings is making themselves Lord and, uh, and they, they, they're taking authority from Jesus. Uh, today, we will talk about chauvinism and feminism. Last week, we talked about how Christian women are being ruled by the word called subterfuge. And we spelt it last week. Subterfuge is spelt S-U-B-T-E-R-F-U-G-E. And it, it, the, uh, the dictionary uh, definition of it is ruling by deceit, this honest way of gain, gaining advantage over somebody. And this is how this uh, subjugation of women, when you look at the preaching of it, uh, they must do this, they must do that. They, in fact, if we, <laughs> one of my friends, her dad actually tells her, if she doesn't do this, God will punish her. And this is not Christian God. It's not Christian God. And the, the Bible told us to, to, to prefer one another, to prefer somebody else better than ourselves. And, and when we're telling somebody that they must be under us, they must submit themselves under us, we're not preferring them better than us. So today we're going to talk about the word uh, chauvinism and feminism. You find out that in the church, chauvinism is everybody, every man fosters it and they rule. They rule the roost in the church. But when they see any woman who in the church, I'm talking about the church of Christ. I'm not talking to the world because if the church doesn't get it right, the world will not get it right. It usually will come out from the church, then seep out into the world. That's how civilization happens. It, it starts from the church and the church buys it and the church, church gently, lovingly feeds it to the world. And then civilization happens. Civilization belongs to Jesus. It doesn't come from the world. It's nothing to do with the world. If we, if you left the world, we will still be using iron to strike stone, stone in order to get fire. But, but we just ask the press of a button. Nowadays, you may not even need to press button. You may just speak and there will be light because of the voice activated uh, electronics. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. Jesus is Lord. And today, when you go in the church, uh, it doesn't matter when a man usurps authority over a woman in the church. In fact, you see an unbelieving man inside, well, may not even be in the church. A woman, a, a born again Christian, born again, saved, sanctified, tongue talking, married to an unbeliever before she got born again. You see that the brothers in the church, whenever there's a problem, the brothers in the church, those who are supposed to be born again, are siding the unbeliever. The only scripture that ever comes to hand is, eh, eh, wife, submit yourself to your husbands. And we see the Bible says that the woman is the weaker vessel. Look at the pictures that the, that, that, that the camera is bringing. She is the weaker vessel. Is that what a weaker vessel does? Have, can you see that woman with the load? Is that how a weaker vessel? Have you ever seen any man in any part of Africa bearing burden like this woman we're looking at on this? Have you seen any? I haven't. If it, another, look at that one. Can you see how many children she has? Did she have those children by herself alone? There's one behind her. She's got this firewood. She's got something on her head. And there's another a child in front of her. Where's the man she had the children with? Where is he? And they tell me, and look at, can you see this man? He is walking empty handed. This is Africa and we want to be free. We're saying that the Europeans, the Caucasians are usurping authority over us, but we don't mind men usurping authority over women. Can you see the man? He is empty handed. That's his woman. The woman has a baby behind her. She has a load on her head. She has a load on her hand. And the man is empty handed walking alongside and they're holding hand. Can you see how Africa, why they don't like the blacks, why the white people are ruling over the blacks? It's because of this type of suppression. This is evil. This, if this is not wickedness in high places, tell me what it is. You think it's when you brandish yourself in witchcraft coven, that's when wickedness in high places happens. No, this is it. That's it. And uh, as far as God is concerned, seed time and harvest will not cease. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he, he also reap. Can you look at this woman? Look at this woman. She has a baby in her hand. Look at what
people she's carrying. And Africans, they want to be Europe. They want to be like Europe. They don't want Euro Europeans to, to subjugate them, but they don't mind subjugating their women, ruling their women with rigor. The women, women are serving in Africa with rigor. That's why we are called the third world, because of the handling of our women, because of what we're doing to our women. This is only little. And I mean, you go to Lagos in Nigeria and see these women in the market. They do this, they do that, they do that. They, and, and you just watch them until you get tired. When will this cease? Some of them, their, 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 their husbands are at home. They're at home. He said he's looking for a job and she will come back. Or out of this sweating, you see them sweating, they will get money to make food. After they make the food, the man might reject it to say he doesn't like it. It was not well cooked. He's not a party to getting that food. He's not a party to it. And the Bible says that he who does not provide for his own home is what was an infidel. Now they just, they just breeze away. And, and, and then again, the women that accept them. He, you see a man that is over 30 years of age and he's, he's uh, chasing you. Don't you ask him questions about where are his children? Africans don't get to that age before they have family. You as a woman, ask this woman that is trying to chat you up. Where is his wife? Where are his children? Why, where has he left them? Or maybe you see one that is doing very well as a woman. He's driving this big car with good air condition and he's so well suited. Do you know that he will never get there if there's, if, if there's not a woman as a buffer by his side? He will never get there. You ladies, young ladies, ask them questions. How did they get their money? How have they been? When you see a man very well dressed, well kept, he can never be like that unless there is a woman seen to it. So you, you, I want to address the spare tire ladies that are very le willing to take any man you see outside there because you think he is doing well. If he's doing well, it's a man that a woman that made him that, that way. You could never see a man that becomes anything without a woman beside him. Now, I don't want to say behind him. Behind is Greek philosophy. You can't find it in the Bible. The Bible says in the book of Colossians that we should be walking shoulder to shoulder. That thing, that saying behind every successful man is a woman. It's not a Christian saying. It's Greek philosophy. It's besides every successful man is a woman. That's the Christian way of it. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 Verse 30, verse 30 says, vengeance is mine. This is God saying, God says, God, for we know him that said, said, vengeance belong unto me. I will recompense. What is happening to Africa, Africa as a whole, and the countries of Africa as a whole is the rigor, ruling in rigor, subjugating their women to, turning their women into beasts of burdens. That women are beasts of burden, bearing the brunt of everything. Whenever anything goes wrong in Africa, it's the woman's fault. Whenever everything is going well, it's the man that has done it. This is what you're reaping. So when you do all this in your homes, in your villages, at your workplace, in, in your garden, in your kitchen, in your living room, you use your women like this. When you come out, the white people use you just the same way as you have used your women. That, that's what's happening. Is the seed that African men are sowing, the seed of slavery you're sowing in the life of African women, that's why the Europeans are slaving you over. Have you seen uh, police people resigning in the United States of America because they're not allowed to use choke style to, to restrain black people in the in, in, in United States of America? They resign their jobs. They want to kill you because you're killing your women. So whatsoever a man so that shall he also reap. A friend of mine just told me the other day, her uncle married four wives. All of them were bad. He will go and get, none of them were married before. All of these were little girls. He will go and take them. And then when he has stamped it upon them and they are nothing, he sends them away with your plastic bag. They go away. They go away. He sends them away. And then he say they, they can't cook and they can't this. They can't. But the Bible says, let those of you that are strong do what? Bear the burden of the weak. If the women can't cook, why can he not cook? Why would he not cook? Why doesn't he teach them to cook? Four women were all wrong. They can't, they're not good. And it was only one man that is good. And do you know what? In the 
end of his life, he died like a chicken. He died like, there was not even enough food to bury him. But he was ruling the roost over women. And some of those women he threw away, they're all very well married now, somewhere else. And you, village chief, you're there, an African. You're looking at this, watching it, and you're letting it happen. If it doesn't come back to you, it will go back to your children, your grandchildren. And all of you, when the day you have done what God said don't do in your house, and it is your time, turn to preach on the pulpit, the caption is, women, submit yourself to your own husband. And you know, African men read the Bible wrong. I belong to a WhatsApp group where we were discussing matters about hate sheep and, and, and tail sheep and slave and all that. Do you know a man who's supposed to be, to have a title in the church says that the Bible says that the man is the head of every woman. I said, eh, eh, excuse me, where? I haven't read that before. I read in my Bible that the last time I checked, unless you men have checked, changed it like you changed every other thing, like you changed the book of Isaiah chapter 68 verse 11, where the Bible says in the original, God gave the word and great were the company of the women that published it. You changed it too. God gave the word and great were the company of the people that published it. The way you changed the book of Colossians chapter 4 verse 15, Nympha became a man. Whereas Nympha cannot be given in the Greek language. Nympha is not the name of a man. It's the name of a woman. Because you don't want us to read in the Bible that a woman, there's a church, in the, is the head of a church. And then you haven't read the book of Acts where, uh, where uh, uh, Lydia, and her household is addressed by her. Lydia and her household is addressed by her. The first Christian convert on European soil. Yeah? The first Christian God forbade Paul, Silas, and, uh, and Luke from preaching the word in Asia so that they can go to get Sister Lydia. And when they got there, they got her. They got her. And she fed, she fed all of them, supplied their needs until the incident in the Filipino jailer, jailer's uh, 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 house happened and the whole church blew, blew out, out. And there were believers all over the place and the, the, uh, the Filipino jailer and his household, Lydia and her household. What would you do to that? You, that you're saying that women can't do this in the church, they can't do that in the church, and you that you have your proverb that, 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 that a, a woman's education ends in the kitchen. And, and do you know, seven women in this uh, coronavirus, seven countries that have contained coronavirus, shown for coronavirus where to go to, COVID-19, where to stop. They were all women, seven countries, women were ruling them. No one in where man is ruling has actually done it as well as these women. And you say that women are not to be found in ruling position. The last time, how, I think it was five years ago, I saw a placard by people campaigning along um, Westminster. They said the, uh, woman, they had placards. The woman's place is the House of Commons. Okay, we're talking from United Kingdom. House of Commons is the ruling house. Where, where, are gov where the rulers of this country are, House of Commons. And I said, quite right. Yeah, the woman's place is in the House of Commons. Go on, babies. Yeah, go on, girls. That's what should be. Because, I mean, these African men, what do they know? What do they know? People that can't boil water that cannot successfully boil water. Try to get one of them to fry an egg. By the time you come down from your living room, you find oil and the egg is, is straining, you know, splattering from the kitchen to your living room and going up to the bedroom just before, just because he tried to, to fry an egg in the morning. The fry, and the ladies, women, train a child in the way he should grow and when he is old, he will not depart from it. What are you teaching the boys? You're letting them go play football when they should be watching you cooking, when they should be watching their sisters cooking. Jesus Christ is Lord. We need to start training them that we have lost because they don't know anything. Everything that was taught in the church was taught to the woman. Everything. Have you ever seen any group in a church gather boys to teach them? This house where they're going to be head. How can they make it successful head? No. I met one uh, a 19-year-old boy that impregnated a girl, and they say, and he has a job, he's working, getting money. They say to him he needs to help, he said he's, he's not contributing any penny. A black, I, I don't mind telling you, a Nigerian, I don't mind telling you that. He said, oh, that he's not doing anything, that that baby will look for him when he grows up. Okay, fine.
fine. He will look for you. Now we're all slaves in the hands of white people because of this kind of attitude. What did his mother teach him? What did his father teach him? That you only just have to be a man. In a marriage, you just have to turn up. The rest is up to the woman. Is that, is that what we teach them? They just have to turn up and the rest is up to the woman. I used to work with a girl that had twins. You know, she goes, she and her husband were and she will go home. She, was, she comes to work telling me this. She will go home. Her husband and his friend and his friends will be watching football in the living room. And, he, and she will be trying to get these twins, feeding them all at the same time, trying to put the, give them a bath, take them, to, <clears throat> take them to bed. And he comes and tell her to fix the kitchen, that the kitchen is dirty. What was he doing? He was watching. He's watching football in the living room with his friends. And when, he, when they say break, he comes to tell his wife to fix the kitchen. The wife who is struggling to get twin babies ready to go to bed. To go to bed. You think you can, you're campaigning for, for emancipation that has lasted for 157 years after the proclamation of it, the black is not yet free. Check what you're doing at home. Check what you're doing at home. How are you ruling? They said to rule. And besides that, what is the definition of a ruler ahead? Uh, Jesus Christ, how did he dis define it? He said, if you must be head, you should be the servant of all. How are African men serving? And you pastors, evangelists, archbishop, doctor, reverend, pastor, reverend, doctor, apostle, pastor. I don't know what is wrong with you. You're only one person. All these titles belong to you. What are you teaching the men, the boys? You're destroying Africa with your preaching. The Bible said, let those of you that are strong help the weak. If you're a Christian, you're rich. Your money is to assist the poor, not to, not to enslave them. In the kingdom of darkness, yes, if you're rich, you enslave the poor. Not in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus, our Lord and Master Jesus, Atik your men, ancient of days, has not suffered you so to do. The ruling of women with rigor. The serving, the servitude being practiced over African women. Black women has brought about, can you see that picture? That's why we are nothing to other races. To other races. That's why Africans are not. It needs to start from your villages. Your villages. I have a friend. She brought her husband to European country. And when he came, he did, wouldn't allow her to have an account. He went and opened an account and she must pay her salary into his account. Can you believe that? He brought her to Europe. She is the one who brought this man to Europe. And she is, was not allowed to have it. How can you be ruling your fellow human beings made in the image of God? I t we, we spoke last week that woman is not the glory of the man. Both male and women, female are the glory of God. Because the Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 5 verse, uh, verse 2 said, God made them in his own image. He made them male and female in the image of God. May he, made he them and called their name Adam. So Adam was not a party in making Eve. And the Bible says if what we did not work for, we should not boast. So woman, possibly, this is that twisting of the scriptures that I'm saying. I believe in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but where men have twisted it against the women, it is not the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is not a party, and I, I ain't taking that. I'm saying this so that it will go well with us Africans. With us Africans, don't use your women. Live with them. Do, the Bible says to dwell with your women in knowledge. Knowledge is not Greek philosophy. Women's subjugation had been in the world 6,000 years before the inception of Christianity. How did he come inside the church? Will Satan and Yahweh, Jehovah, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel say the same thing? No, it's not possible. It's not possible. Eh? And I have been in a church where a pastor said that God put pride in men. We are well, how can he put pride in men? And he chased Satan down from heaven because of pride. And then he then goes, the people he called to represent him, then he put pride in them. No, he did not. That is the element of the devil a man 
because Adam was born again in the garden of Eden by when he fell, when he sold over to Satan and the devil breathed into him and he underwent a change and became hostile to the living God. And when he is born again, he does not study the scripture to regenerate him, to grow daily in the image of God, in the image of Jesus Christ. He will still be the same way he was when Satan was his master. That's why men give their life to Jesus Christ. You don't see any change. And the majority of them in the church actually are in the church because they think that the Bible says that women are your slaves. The only thing that's keeping them in the church is uh, 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 wives, submit yourself to your own husband. Whatever problem that is between a couple in the church, Colossians chapter 3 comes in, wives, submit your... Is that what the problem is? Submit yourself to an immoral man that has so many women outside and he goes and bring whatever immoral baggage he brings and you submit yourself to that raging thing. Nay, my brethren, it's not comely. We shouldn't. We should not submit ourselves to the dictates of the devil. And by the way, man's headship doesn't mean a dictator. God doesn't dictate to us. Jesus doesn't dictate to us. Yeah? He, he leads us gently. He, 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 has not, he has not suffered anyone to dictate to us. We are free moral beings. That's why God showed Adam and Eve the, the tree to say, this one, I don't want you to eat it. Because if you eat it, it will not go well with you. He could have covered their eyes, but he didn't do that. He wanted them to choose, and they chose wrong. He wanted them to choose. So, but then God allowed human beings to choose. And you, man, he won't allow your wife to choose. Hang, hang on a minute. Now, who is the God here? Are you, is it you, man, or God? That is God. You've got the whole thing wrong. Female subjugation was in the world 6,000 years before the inception of Christianity. It can't be the same in Christianity. God didn't say it. Wherever you say, see it is the beast of Ephesus that God meant to put it in there. I told us last week that King James is a 400 years rough riding translation of which many of them that translated, many men, there was no one woman involved. If you want to see where a woman is involved in translation of the scripture, Amplified. Amplified, and the other ones, there were women were involved, and they read the, the manuscript properly and translated it very well, so that we are not twisting the word of God and telling the women, this is what God wants you to do, when Jehovah has not so much spoken a word. The lies that men have put in the Bible are not part of holy men of God wrote as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. They were moved, all right, but not by the Holy Ghost. Someone else moved them. And you know who? The adversary. The adversary. If we will get it right, uh, right, as we blacks are campaigning for total emancipation that's been going on for 157 years, we need to let the women go out of the house of bondage. You, black man, Nigerian man, African man, that have babies with a with your wife, and you decide because there's a responsibility, you take your, your, your coat and walk away. You're waiting until the day you see these children on television, you come and say, I'm their dad. It wouldn't happen. It's because of you men, men, because of African men, that's why the black people are not counted as anything. Because of what you have done, what you're doing to your women. God means to set black blacks free, but because you, they set you free from sugarcane plantation, as a slave, you went home and held your women under the floor, under the ground, saying that they will not be free. That's why the black people are not free. That's why the white people are ruling over black people. That, that's, that's the reason, because of what you're doing. After all, this slave trade we are talking about, did not your chiefs sell uh, their fellow black people for a bottle of, of, of schnapp? Did not the chiefs in the villages sell people for a, a head of snuff? Yeah? For Johnny Walker? They sold people for that price, sold people for Johnny Walker, for a bottle of Johnny Walker, for a bottle of schnapp. They sold their brothers, their sisters for it. And now God has brought Christianity to set us free and you are holding your women bound. Release them from the house of bondage. This is Charity Ebweson on the Hour of Liberty. Thank you for watching us. We're here every Thursday, every Thursday, 5.30 p.m. on Sky 589, Faith World TV. And we're saying that Female subjugation is Greek philosophy. Jesus has not suffered it so to be because Jesus said in the book of 
uh, Galatians chapter chapter 3, verse 28, that in this dispensation we are, there is no Jew, no Gentile, no Greek, no barbarian, no male, no female. So don't bring that your Amadeo uh, tradition, Njokuji tradition, Shungo, uh, uh, whatever your God you're serving in your village is, female subjugation came from them. It didn't come from Jesus. Because when Jesus Christ resurrected, the first person he went to, to salute was Mary. Yeah, Mary. Not the mighty apostles. Not them. Yeah, not them. He did not go, to, he didn't bother with them. And when God wants to bless mankind, he goes through women. Like Rahab, like Bithia, like uh, Miriam and, his, and, her, and her mother, like Jehoshiba. The one who saved the only seed royal remaining before Athaliah killed all of them. When God is serious to bless human beings, he goes through women because he knows that men's ego are always on the line. Yeah, humble yourself, men, African men, black men. Humble yourself so that blacks can be free. So that we can have total emancipation. Come under Jesus. Don't hold Jesus with one hand and be operating Satan. Yeah, Jesus Christ is Lord. This is Charity Ebwesen on the Hour of Liberty. Thanks for watching. See you again next week, next time. God bless you.